We're going to be talking about seasons and how in order for you to be seasoned, you got to go through seasons. So come on in, join me live, share this video with someone. If you watch later, thank you so much for watching. But we have to understand that all seasons matter. A lot of people, they want to cut certain seasons on and they're trying to be in certain seasons, but they're not seasoned as a person. I have to be seasoned as a husband in order to add flavor to my marriage. I have to be seasoned as a father to add a uh, healing to my daughter. I have to be seasoned. That's why it's unfair of uh, to your future people and to your future self not to embrace seasons. And I want to take some time to talk about athletic seasons. We're in the middle of the NBA uh, season right now. We're going to talk about the four seasons of any athletic season. We can talk agricultural, but I'm pulling from my book, Multipurpose. In this book, I have a whole chapter on seasons that's talking about the reasons for seasons. But there's four seasons in a sport, typically. It's, let's just talk about basketball, since basketball is now. There's the off season, there's the preseason, there's the actual season, and there's the postseason. There's the off season, there's the preseason, there's the season, then there's the postseason. Let's talk about the off season. The most valuable season of all seasons is the off season. The off season means I turn certain things off. I've turned thing, I turned myself off to certain things so that I can put myself on when it's time for season. The off season is when you get conditioned. See, God has a calling that he wants us all to be conditioned for. That's why we go through seasons. And sometimes the longest season is the off season. But it's in that season where God is breaking things off for us. He's breaking any and everything off of us that's going to hinder us from being effective in our season. It is the off season we put up the shots. It's the off season that we get conditioned. It's the off season that we look at tape and film to see how we can be better in the next season. A lot of people are not taking the time to maximize the off season because they want to turn on other seasons that they're not seasoned for. God wants us to be seasoned people so that we can preserve, so that we can serve, so that we can add flavor. Are you bland? Like, like right now is in this off season that you really begin to say, okay, God, season me. So the off season is important. Let's talk about the preseason. The preseason is a season where uh, uh, you are playing, but the points don't count. The stats don't count. But the same opponents that you face in the preseason, you will face in the season when it does count. The preseason of life is those seasons where you're being tested. You're not quite at the place of promotion. You're not at the place of marriage yet. You may not be at the place of parenting yet. You may not be at the desired place, but you're playing with familiar things. And I talk about in my book that in my preseason, before I got married, I had some dealings with some things that I had to get rid of. And the same opponent that I faced in my preseason, Season, I may have to face in the season, just like uh, Lakers and Memphis Grizzlies. They played each other in the preseason, and now in the season, they had to play each other again. And your practice and your preparation in the offseason will equip you to play well in the preseason. So when you face lust in your marriage season, you know how to defeat that. When you face selfish ambition in your marital season or in your season of success, you know how to beat them. You got the tape. You got the film. You're looking through the Bible, which is your uh, playbook. Right. So now you're you're so immense in the playbook. You don't have to worry about the playboy. You see what I'm saying? And so the off season conditions you for the calling. It gets you in shape. It puts you in a position for the season that you want to be in. The preseason is where you're putting yourself into practice, seeing how good you are, seeing if you if you really maximize the uh, the um, off season and that preseason you facing certain opponents. But in that preseason, the points don't count. That's why there's a buffer season between off season and a season where it seems like promotion. It smells like promotion. It feels like promotion, but you're not promoted yet. We have to see how you play under pressure. And there are certain, see, that's why the Bible says, count it all joy when you go through various trials, knowing this is the testing of your faith produces patience. And when patience had its full effect of perfect work, you will be whole, complete, and lacking up. That verse is so dense. Like, no matter what opponent you face right now, and possibly in your preseason, you have to count it all joy. Knowing that there are certain trials you're going to have to face in order to last a while. No trials, no last a while. And the one thing about trial periods, like Netflix gives you a trial period, YouTube TV may give you a trial period. There's a lot of things give you a trial period. They want you to be familiar with the product. And sometimes there's a trial period before the purchase period because God has already purchased that season for you. God's already paid for that season, but he's giving you a trial period 
to see if you so that you can become familiar with the place. So he brings similar, similar opposition from the place you desire to be. That's why new levels, new devils. So in that preseason, that trial period, you're facing different devils. You're facing different issues. You're facing different things to test you because you know that when you count it all joy, knowing that you're going through various trials, you know that the testing of your faith has to produce patience. You're not really tested in the off season. You're not really tested uh, um, when you put up shots and you're in a gym by yourself. But when you're in an arena and people are scouting you and seeing if you put in any work, then all of a sudden you got people in the stands, you got people on the sideline, you got people within the lines and you're being tested. But that faith has to be tested because that faith is not tested. That faith cannot be trusted. And so when that faith is tested, then you're able to ready to go into the season where the points count. Right now, when I was date back then, when I was dating my wife, the points didn't count. <laughs> I scored a lot of points in my preseason. I scored a lot of points. And so, so let me give you an example. The off season is like singleness. The preseason is like courting. Marriage is the season. <laughs> See, when I was dating my wife, man, the points didn't count. I probably averaged in my day. When I was courting my wife, my wife would tell you, I probably was averaging 40, 10, and 6. <laughs> Boy, you couldn't tell me nothing. When I was courting my wife, there was some nights I probably had a, a 2, 7, and 8. I had Draymond numbers some games. You know what I'm saying? But there were some games where I had them Steph games. Some, there were some games where I had them LeBron games where I had a 20, 20. Like, I had 20 points. I didn't have 40. But I was rebounding. <laughs> I rebounded from that misslip of my comment. I rebounded. There's a lot of rebounds. So, but it, those points didn't count. Right now in marriage, those points count. The turnovers count. The assists count. The rebounds count. The the uh, the plus minuses count. Like when I'm in my marriage, am I? How's my plus minus in my marriage? <laughs> when when I'm involved and engaged, do I add the marriage up or do I take from the marriage? So now in the season, the points count, but the postseason, that's when it's the year, year five and it's month 12. And, and because the one thing about seasons in life, you can get a trophy every postseason. You can get a trophy you, because you're seasoned. Like the difference between the Memphis Grizzlies and the Lakers is the Lakers have a seasoned vet. They have a seasoned person. They have championship pedigree on that team. And we're seeing the unraveling of immaturity of people that talk a lot but don't have no rings. And a lot of people, they talk big about their desired play. They talk big about them wanting to be married or they talk big about them being a millionaire. Or they talk big about being successful, but they don't have no walk behind their talk. You see what I'm saying? That's why they say if you hear them before you see them, don't trust them. People who've been somewhere before, they don't talk much because they know what it takes to be there. And so you have to understand that all seasons count. And yes, you may be single right now. Yes, you may not be at a, the desired place, but you got to maximize that off season. You got to look at your calling and says, what? kind of conditioning must I be in to last that season? And if you want to last the life season of 82 years, then you got to say, okay, I got to do certain things. If you want to last uh, uh, how many every years in marriage, how many every years in ministry, whatever it is, you got to say, okay, what must I do in this gracious, most beautiful, most treasured season of singleness or the off season? Then you will say, coach, I need to get in the gym and get shots up. Look at your last season. Your last relationship is okay. How, wh were we 16 and 70? <laughs> like, what was my record last relationship? What was my last record the last time I was single? What was my last record back when I was, uh, when things were recorded? And then begin to say, okay, man, I, I, I didn't have conditioning. I wasn't in shape. I wasn't in shape mentally. I wasn't in shape spiritually. I wasn't in shape physically. I wasn't in shape financially. And then work on that and get in the gym if you want to be with them. If you want to be with him, if you want to be with her, you got to get in the gym. You got to make yourself better. Like God is looking for conditioned individuals who know how to handle pressure under tough times. That's why God says count it all joy. The number one thing you must have within your repertoire is spiritual mathematics. You got to know how to count everything good. Even when you count bad, I tell people all the time that if you take the time to count your blessings, you won't have time to count your burdens. Because every breath that you breathe is a blessing. So if you count it every time, if you if you count it every breath that you use to count your breaths, then you will realize you have no time to count your burdens. 
And so when you know how to count it all joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces patience. And anybody knows that when you're in the postseason, you got to be patient. LeBron knew what he was doing because he'd been there before. LeBron, LeBron talked about in the post-game interview, and everybody know I'm a Jordan guy, but I respect greatness. And LeBron was talking about how in the postseason, in one of those seasons, he was working on the high, the high uh, uh, glass layups. And then we saw last night that being in his bag didn't cause him to lag because it was in his bag. So he knew I got a I got a shot blocker on me, so I got to put that ball high off the glass. And he did it. I think he did it twice in that game. So what I'm saying, you never know what you've practiced in the off season will show up in the actual postseason. And so when you understand that you have to go through seasons and you know how to count it all joy when you go through various trials. You will know that those various trials are trying to make you versatile. Those various trials are trying to help you uh, last a while so that your marriage, right now, your marriage is dependent on your singleness. And a lot of people's marriage is self-destructing because they never constructed anything in their singleness. A lot of people are self-destructing in their purposes, in their ministries, in their businesses, in their entrepreneurial endeavors because they didn't construct anything worth valuable in their off season. Every year, I want my wife and I to hold up a trophy that this year was a great year in marriage. I, this was a great year in parenting. This is for me. I want to be able to say this was a great year in uh, in ministry. This was a great year in business. This was a great year as a teacher. So you have to understand seasons. What are you doing this season? What season are you in? Some of you all you're in the off season. You're single, and I talked about my YouTube video. <laughs> How can you handle mingleness if you haven't hand if you can't handle singleness? If you can't handle singleness, you can't handle mingleness. Because if you can't handle being alone, you can't handle being alongside. And so some of you all in your preseason, you're like, man, I feel a promotion is coming. I'm dating. I'm courting. I'm, I'm, I'm in the interviewing process. I'm, I'm in the, a mentoring process. And I'm scoring. I'm doing good. But these points don't count. But now you got the job. Now you in the season. Now you married. Now the points count. Whatever my wife forgave. Whatever turnovers my wife forgave while we was dating, she ain't going to forgive those in marriage. <laughs> so, of course, I can go to the sideline, babe, when we was dating or court. I'm like, yo, she's like, you had some turnovers, but, you know, you had 20 points. You had 10 rebounds. You had four assists. You assisted me in these four things, but you also had five turnovers. You had more turnovers than assists. You turned more things over than you assisted me with. She might have forgave that when we was courting because she was... High off the res. But now when we marry, she, uh, -uh I got to come correct. And vice versa. Because it counts now. When I score, we score. When I win, we win. When I turn over, they turn over. You see what I'm saying? And then the postseason, you got to be conditioned in the word. You got to be conditioned in, in your mental health, conditioned in your spiritual health, conditioned in your emotional health, conditioned in your financial health. So that when the postseason come and trying times become try trying, we'll see who's in shape. You gotta match. You gotta match the shape of the season you want to be in. And if you can't last eighty two games, then you shouldn't even play the game. And so, what season are you in? Because in order for you to be seasoned and add flavor to wherever you at, to preserve wherever you at, to serve wherever you at. To prolong wherever you desire to be, you got to embrace those seasons now. I love y'all. Hope y'all was blessed by this. Um, check out my book, Multi Purpose, where we talk about this. I also talk about fall, winter, spring, and summer in here as well. This book, Multi Purpose, link in the bio. If you're like, hey, man, I want to take my fulfillment to the next level, not only do I want to get the book, but I really want to be a part of a community of like minded people where they will hold me accountable, where I can actually begin to feel fulfilled, where I can actually find my purpose and thrive in my purpose, or make sure that I learn how to fulfill the daily purposes. If you want to be a better husband, a better father, a better mother, a better wife, a better teen, if you want to be a better entrepreneur, you want to be like, hey, I want to be there, join IWillFulfill.com now and also be a part of one of those masterminds. Um, you could be, a, we're going to have in-person meetings, all that because I'm going to have a great time and I'm looking forward to uh, uh, being a part of a thriving community of individuals that are purpose-focused and able to push the kingdom forward. So any questions before I go? Thank y'all so much for joining me on this live. I, I did a video on YouTube on the four signs that you're soul tied. 
So you can also go to my link in my bio and go to YouTube. I, went on, I was on there for an hour. That's why I ain't going too long here. I was on there for an hour. And um, so check that out. Uh, more videos, books, all that stuff in my bio. Let me see if there's any questions. There's no question. I'm up out of here. Love y'all. Purpose driven sis. I, I think I I think I messaged you back about the schools. Let me know. If you're a teacher out there, you need some support with your schools, check out mycoachjosh.com, link in the bio. I help, I'm a consultant to schools and 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 uh, and I also help uh classes and stuff like that. So let me know how I can help. Um mycoachjosh.com, all that good stuff. I don't see any questions. I'm up out of here. I love y'all, y'all be blessed, peace.